hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x is equals to 81 and we solve this problem for all the values of x so here first we will find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will check that which of the roots are satisfied over this equation or which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root of this equation and at the last i can explain the term extraneous root uh, so here uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first you see that 9 to the power of x is involved in each of these terms uh, so that we will take common 9 to the power of x here and after taking this common we will get here from here we get 1 plus from here we get 1 plus from here we also get 1 and this is equals to 81 and now further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as 9 to the power of x into this is 1 plus 1 plus 1 becomes here 3 is equals to 81 and now further in the next step uh, here we need to uh, remove this 3 from left hand side uh, so for this uh, we need to uh, divide both of the sides by 3 so when we divide both of the sides by 3 it will be written as in this form uh, and now you see here this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and we get here 9 to the power of x is equals to here uh, we get this is 3 times of 2 becomes 6 and we carry 2 and you get here 2 7s are 21. It means that 27 times of 3 becomes here 81 and we will obtain here 27. So that now we convert our given equation into the single uh, exponential form. So uh, here we need to write the prime factors of both of these uh, sides. We know that the base of this term is 9 and the prime factors of 9 are 3 square and its whole power is x and in the right hand side we have this is 27 and we know that the prime factors of 27 are 3 cubed and uh, further in the next step uh, we need uh, to use here the nice exponential law uh, and uh, you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this exponential law we need to multiply the exponents in the left hand side and when we multiply these two exponents it will be written as 3 to the power of 2x is equals to 3 to the power of 3 and further in the next step we again use here another exponential law you know about that if we have uh, a to the power of m is equals to a to the power of n and this implies that m is equals to n so uh, according to uh, this rule uh, we just uh, compare the exponents of both of the sides and when we will compare the exponents uh, then it will be written as 2x is equals to 3 and further in the next step uh, because we solve this problem for the values of x so that's why we will divide both of the sides by 2 because we need to uh, remove this 2 from left hand side so uh, after dividing it by 2 we will get here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get the value of x is equals to 3 over 2 so this is our final value of x in this question and now here further uh, further steps we will check that is this value of x be the solution or is this value of x be the extraneous root of the given equation so uh, for verification of the roots uh, we need to copy down given question statement here it is 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x is equals to 81 and here we need to substitute this value of x into the left hand side of this equation uh, and now after that when we put this value here it will be written as so here first we need to take common 9 to the power of x and it will be written as 3 times of 9 to the power of x is equals to 81 
and now we are ready to uh, use the value of x into the left hand side and when we put this value here it will be written as 9 to the power of 3 over 2 multiplied by 3 is equals to 81 and further here we write this 9 into the prime factors form and it will be written as 3 square and its whole exponent is 3 over 2 and it is multiplied by 3 is equals to 81 and, and now you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we will get here 3 cubed multiplied by 3 is equals to 81 so further in the next step we have 3 cubed is equals to 27 multiplied by 3 is equals to 81 and, and now uh, you see here 27 times of 3 is also equals to 81 equals to 81 so this shows that the value of x is equals to 3 over 2 is satisfied over given question statement so uh, this is the our uh, final answer of this question uh, and here we explain the term extraneous root you know that the roots uh, which satisfy the given question statement is called the solution and the root which does not satisfy the given question statement is called the extraneous root so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos